All right, big video today. I am talking about the top 10 Las Vegas hotels for rookies, newbies, and first timers. Maybe you've never been to Las Vegas and you can't decide which hotel to choose. I'm there with you. Uh, it's very confusing and everyone seems to have their own idea of where you should stay. Or maybe you've been to Las Vegas a time or two and you still really don't know what you're doing, like most of us don't at that stage. And you wanna make sure you're doing it right, so you wanna make sure you choose a great hotel. I'm going to cut through all of that for you today. I'm going to give you the top 10 Las Vegas hotels for rookies, newbies, and first timers. There are a lot of factors that go into this list, but most importantly, I think the largest factor is you want to make sure after the end of your trip, you got a slice of Las Vegas. You got a true taste of Las Vegas. You know, if you choose Harrah's or Vidara for the first time, you're not going to get that quintessential Vegas experience. So you want to make sure when you leave your trip, when you're done and you go home, you have true memories of Vegas. That's why I constructed this list. As always, let's dive right into it. Number 10 is Caesars Palace. Now, this may be a shocker to you. Maybe some of you expected this hotel to be at number one. Uh, it is the most iconic hotel in Las Vegas. It's the most famous hotel in Las Vegas. It's one of the most popular hotels in Las Vegas. It's pretty much dead center strip. Why is this coming in at number 10 and not number one? Mainly, it's coming in at number 10 because of just how large it is. This hotel is a monstrosity. It is a complex. It is so hard to navigate, even for people who are savvy in Las Vegas. It's a tough one to maneuver around. If you can get past the size or if you are really ambitious, it is a great place to start your Las Vegas adventure because it's a no-brainer. You are absolutely going to get a slice of Las Vegas and a true taste of Las Vegas by staying at Caesars. From the statues and the monuments to the artwork and the overall theme, it is a beautiful property, fantastic shopping, fantastic dining, great pools. Standard rooms are great. They're pretty affordable. Caesars is pretty much a fantastic all-around property. Again, it is overwhelmingly large, which is why it does not rank higher in this list, but it can be a great place to start your Las Vegas adventure. Number nine is where I'm at right now. It's Resorts World. And the reason Resorts World comes in at number nine is because it is the newest Las Vegas property. It is, in some ways, the hottest Las Vegas property. It's the most modern. It's very luxurious. It is the most expensive Las Vegas property ever built. This is the new benchmark for Las Vegas. This place is chic and stylish and modern and upscale and fun. It has a vibe. Amazing restaurants. Some of the best restaurants, if not the best restaurants in Las Vegas. It has a day club. It has a nightclub. Six general pools three different hotels to choose from. You have Hilton, you have Conrad, you have Crockford's, depending on what your budget or taste may be. It is the new standard for Las Vegas. This hotel has put all other Las Vegas hotels on notice. If you want to see the newest iteration of Las Vegas and the most modern iteration of Las Vegas, and some of the best that Las Vegas absolutely has to offer, you need to choose Resorts World. And that's why it comes in at number nine. Number eight is Cosmopolitan. This hotel is becoming synonymous with Las Vegas and it's becoming synonymous with Las Vegas fun. This place is pretty much the best time ever and it is unlike any hotel I've ever seen in the world. It's design and it's style, it's decor, it's theme, it's experience. It's something that is so unique, not only in Las Vegas, but throughout the entire planet. This place is cool and trendy and chic, and it's where everyone goes to have the best time ever. If you're about the crowd, the energy, the parties, the nightlife, and most importantly, fun, it is absolutely cosmopolitan. If you choose this hotel for the first time, it's almost impossible not to go home with some unforgettable and lifelong Vegas memories. Number seven is Wynn and Encore. This one is so simple and straightforward. It's the best. It's the most luxurious. It's the best overall. If you just want to have literally a no-brainer and get it out of the way and ensure that you chose the best hotel for your Las Vegas adventure, just choose Wynn and Encore. The place is excellent everywhere. From the rooms to the pools to the restaurants to the grounds, the entire place is immaculate. It has some of the hottest restaurants and nightlife venues in the entire city. Its design is gorgeous, and it's pretty much one of the best hotels, not in Vegas, but in the world. If you just want to cut through everything and you want a guaranteed awesome and amazing Las Vegas experience for the first time or one of your first times, it's Wind and Encore without a doubt. Number six is Mandalay Bay. Uh, it is another icon of Las Vegas, and I am ranking it above Wind and Encore because I think it's a bit more approachable and a bit more inviting. It's definitely less intimidating than Wind and Encore. Mandalay Bay is one of the most underrated properties in Las Vegas, and it's absolutely one of the best values. Not only are the standard rooms affordable, they are some of the best standard rooms in the entire city. 
The pool at Mandalay Bay is legendary. It is the most legendary pool in Las Vegas. It has a lazy river. There are multiple standard hotel pools and there is a beach area with a wave ocean. There are a variety of dining options. There is a food court if you wanna go casual and the high-end dining is severely underrated. Overall, the property is astonishingly luxurious considering its price. The casino floor is large but easy to navigate and the property is elegant, luxurious, and refined. Mandalay Bay easily comes in at number six. Number five is Golden Nugget, and this one is interesting because it's not on the Las Vegas Strip. It's downtown on the Fremont area, which is pretty much the original Las Vegas Strip. It is basically a smaller, condensed version of the Las Vegas Strip. A lot of people are intimidated by the Las Vegas Strip on their first stay or two or three in Las Vegas, so it makes sense to maybe start out downtown. You still do get a taste of Vegas, downtown now it may not be as amplified as what you're going to get on the strip but trust me if you stay at the golden nugget downtown on fremont you are going to get a true taste of las vegas i think golden nugget is one of the most underrated hotels in las vegas it is a las vegas icon and it has stood the test of time for a reason it is a great hotel the standard rooms are large and affordable it has one of the best restaurants in all of las vegas at vic and anthony's the shark tank pool is one of the most famous pools in america it's something that you've never ever seen before and most importantly it's on fremont street there are other hotels in that area you can walk the famous fremont street experience and really get a smaller taste but a true taste of las vegas Number four is Paris, and Paris comes in at this point for a couple reasons. Number one, it is dead center strip. You have the iconic Bellagio right across the street. You're pretty much right in the middle of all the action. You have access to everything, and everything is essentially walkable. Another thing that makes Paris a great choice for rookies or first-timers is its size. It is a smaller scale Las Vegas hotel. It's not a monster like its cousin Caesars across the street. So it's easy to navigate. It's gonna be more approachable. It's not gonna be as intimidating. The entire property is really easy to learn and maneuver through. Compared to the other properties on the strip, the rooms are relatively affordable. And also compared to the other properties on the strip, the rooms are pretty decent. It has a top Las Vegas steakhouse in Gordon Ramsay Steak, and it also has one of the most famous brunch spots on the entire strip, Mon Ami Gabi. To top it all off, you get a theme in the hotel, which is Parisian. Of course, you have the Arc de Triomphe outside, you have the Eiffel Tower outside, and the entire hotel inside is really emblematic of a Parisian French theme. Number three is Planet Hollywood. It's right next to Paris, so you're gonna get the same benefits of Paris. You're pretty much center strip. You have the Bellagio across the street. Planet Hollywood is gonna be a little bit more affordable than Paris, and also it's gonna be a little bit more modern and cool. I'm in love with the Hollywood hip Art Deco design that's inside, and overall, I think Planet Hollywood is probably the best value in the entire city. The rooms are shockingly affordable, and for that price, they are astonishingly decent. And I think it is one of the better designed casino layouts in the entire city. There are some high-end dining options with Koi and Strip House, it has the coolest P.F. Changs I've ever seen in my entire life. And then if you venture over to the Miracle Mile shops, you have a chance to partake in some retail action as well as some casual food and drinking. Planet Hollywood offers a little bit of everything and it does so in a very affordable package that is perfectly located center strip. That's why it comes in at number three. Number two is The Link, AKA The People's Champ. This is pretty much the fan favorite of Las Vegas. Now The Link is not gonna blow you away with its luxury or its high-end options, but if you're coming to Las Vegas for the first time or have never been, that might not be very important to you. You're probably just looking for a place that's gonna be casual, energetic, fun, with a ton of options for drinking, eating, and entertainment. That is what The Link delivers. Making The Link famous is The Promenade. This is a long walkable strip filled with some of the coolest and most fun restaurants, bars, entertainment options, and attractions in Las Vegas. Inside the link, the casino floor is surprisingly large. There's lots of options for gambling, and they even have a casino within a casino concept, Kitty O'Shea's. During their summer, their influence pool is pretty much a free day party, and the rooms are some of the cheapest in Las Vegas. The link is off the charts in terms of fun and energy. And it's all in a very inexpensive, casual, and approachable environment. It comes in at number two. Number one is the Flamingo, and I put Flamingo at number one for a couple reasons. Firstly, it is the cheapest hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. Secondly is its location. It is almost dead center Las Vegas Strip. You pretty much have access to everything, and everything is pretty much walkable. 
Thirdly, the Flamingo is a Las Vegas icon. It was built prior to the 1950s. It is almost a staple of Las Vegas. It really has some cool ties to organized crime. There's a lot of history and heritage in the property. It makes for a really neat Las Vegas experience. Also, the Flamingo is a smaller hotel. It's very easy to navigate. It is not intimidating at all. It only takes a few minutes to learn the property. To take that a step further, the Flamingo is a very simple property. It doesn't really offer a ton, which is good for a first timer. It's not going to overwhelm you or intimidate you. It has one steakhouse, it has a smaller food court, and it has some fun, approachable dining and drinking. Furthermore, the Flamingo probably has the best standard pool in Las Vegas. If you just book a room there, you get access to it. This thing is an icon, and if you're going during the summer and you wanna have a fun and fantastic time at the pool, it is the Flamingo all the way. Lastly, the Flamingo is filled with other Vegas rookies. I think it is the most popular first-timer and Vegas rookie hotel. So if you want to be around like-minded people and maybe explore the city together, the Flamingo is absolutely the choice for you. Price, location, crowd, footprint, pool, it all puts Flamingo at number one. It is absolutely the best hotel for Vegas rookies, first-timers, and newbies.